Welcome back to The Breakfast here on PLOS TV Africa. Quickly, we're going to go through uh, some of the major events that happened on this day in history. And I'm going back to the year 1972. It is on this day the birth of the notorious B.I.G. Um, happened. Um, he was born on this day, full name, Christopher George Latour Wallace. Was born May 21st, 1972, the only child of a Jamaican uh, of, uh, immigrant uh, parents. He was better known, of course, by his stage name, Notorious B.I.G., uh, Biggie Smalls, or simply Biggie, uh, a rapper, songwriter, and uh, many things that he, he was. Of course, there's a lot of people who described, you know, his style of rap, and that's what made him stand out and made him very distinct. Sadly, he died, you know, in his 20s uh, after um, um, uh, wars between the, you know, East Coast and the West Coast and uh, a crisis between rappers uh, himself and Tupac Shakur and, of course, different record labels. Um, there's really not much, you know, to say about, you know, the, you know, the little details here and there about Notorious B.I.G. It's, it's just really to celebrate his birthday today and celebrate the emergence of albums like Ready to Die, Life After Death in 1997, Born Again 1999, Notorious in the year 2009, King and I, which of course were posthumously released in uh, 2017. And of course songs like uh, Juicy, Hypnotize, More Money More Problems, Big Papa, One More Chance, Dead Wrong, Notorious Dog, so many of these hits that made him extremely, extremely popular. And one of the best rappers, you know, if you were going to, everybody who creates their own top 10 rappers uh, list of all time cannot in any way leave out the Notorious B.I.G. and some other people. Mm. So posthumously, happy birthday to Biggie Smalls. Yes, happy birthday to him. You said it, you said it really. He is one of the most foremost, famous, impactful rappers. You know, when we do karaoke, you, you cannot but show off your skills. Juicy is one of the biggest songs, or biggest karaoke songs. It's just amazing. Just amazing. Happy birthday. Happy posthumous birthday to him. So the second event that happened today in history, let me give you the story. In the book of Matthew 24, verse 36, the Bible talked about no one being able to know the hour, the day or the time when, you know, the, of the second coming of Christ, that even the angel doesn't even know the day where rapture would take place for those who believe in you know the christian faith but over history over time in the course of history you find that lots of people have come up with their own predictions as to the exact day and time that the world will come to an end and for the judgment of god to fall upon the world and it was on this day in history that one of those events happened on this day in history may the 21st 2011 there was a christian american broadcaster is an evangelist you know he was a broadcaster on a family radio in the u.s and he predicted that you know there was going to be an apocalypse the end of the world where you know there will be fire brimstone you know the world is just going to end and five months later there would be rapture this man went ahead to give so many predictions about how the world was going to end that few few days to his to his prediction he resigned from his job as a broadcaster saying the world is going to end anyway you know so there was no need this man spent thousands of dollars printing billboards flyers just digital flyers telling people the world is going to end in 2011 on may 21st rapture will take place five months of fire and brimstone and you know just trying to create a scare but lots of people said you know what this is what the bible said in matthew 24. no one knows the time of and rapture who told you sir and who told you he even said that rapture <laughs> will take place at 6 p.m on may 21st <laughs> i mean god god must have been this guy's you know oh pal so at 6 p.m you know rapture will take place <clears throat> so this basically was what happened and when rapture did not take place on this day in history he went on to say well you know what he meant was that the rapture was a spiritual rapture you know the full rapture will take place much later but it was going to be a spiritual rapture a spiritual day of judgment and that the real rapture will take place on october 22nd october 21st so see how he started to change the date yeah. the real rapture will take place on october 21st and that the rapture on may 21st was a spiritual rapture 
Anyway, um, later on in you know the next year, March 20, 2012, this guy, his name is uh, Arod Campin. He admitted humbly that he actually did not know the day or time of rapture. He was just trying to guess and that he admitted that it was sinful of him to have assumed that rapture would take place at 6 p.m. on May 21st, 2011. And to later say it was a spiritual rapture, original rapture would take place October 21st. See, apart from camping story, like I mentioned, lots of people have tried to predict throughout history yeah. as to the day rapture will take place. There was a particular man that predicted that rapture would take place in 1914 and that i beg your pardon 1988 right and he said that uh, he even published a book that 88 reasons why rapture will take place in 1988 lots of people have made predictions so we, but we, we all know that this platform we yeah. all exactly exactly yeah. right we've, we've talked about even in uganda there was a cult yeah. group or a christian group who operated like a cult group yeah. that said rapture was going to take place the world was going to end they told all their followers to dress up and they burnt them to death yeah. while the owners of that church actually fled and went yeah, into there's hiding there's the ugandan one there's so, the australian or new zealand story also i believe uh, where these things have happened, you know, but you know, one of them that cracks me up the most is the pastor who was charging about twenty dollars uh, to check if there is a congregant's name <laughs> was in the, the book, of book of life. You know, the book who was going to get into heaven. Um, so, you know, it's it's not the first time. Religion oh has God. always been played that way for a very very long time. Uh, sadly, this church still has members. Um, sure. you know, and these churches still have members. You know, the most insane claims you know can be made by. Um, um, spiritual fathers, spiritual mothers, and the next Sunday you still see people. Yes, you, you see, you see pastors predicting which political party would, would would win, which politician would win, and all this is end up being false. You, you yeah. saw the, all the many predictions that Donald you know, Trump will win the United States elections, and that that didn't come true. But anyway, that's what happened today in history. Howard Campin in the U.S. predicted that on this day in history, the year 2011, rapture would take place, and then he moved it to October 21st. And of course, happy birthday to Notorious B.I.G. 1972 uh, was on this day he was born. Stay with us. First major conversation for today. We are going to Cross River State to, of course, have a quick conversation with the spokesman of Governor Ben Ayade. Um, and of course, uh, understand his major reasons for dumping the PDP for the ruling APC. We'll be back.